Huge update as Man City has possibly found the perfect manager to replace Pep Guardiola. Speculation is rife about the Spanish tactician's long-term future, as he is expected to leave the Etihad Stadium when his contract expires at the end of the season. New reports now suggest that the citizens have identified Bayer Leverkusen manager Zabi Alonso as a potential successor to Pep Guardiola. But would he be a great fit for the club? In other news, former Leeds United standout Pablo Hernandez has backed Calvin Phillips to turn his career around and fight for a place in the Manchester City squad once again. Phillips made the jump from Leeds in the summer of 2022 after a stellar few seasons with the Yorkshire club and for England at international level, but the step up to Pep Guardiola's side did not go as planned. Having made just 16 Premier League appearances across two seasons, the 28-year-old eventually found a temporary home with West Ham on loan, in another move in which Phillips did not cover himself in glory. In recent times however, Phillips impressed in pre-season for Manchester City before eventually being shipped out to Premier League newcomers Ipswich Town, where he will remain for the ongoing 2024-25 campaign. Meanwhile, Manchester City are currently without Rodri in the midfield and have struggled as of yet to replace him with any sort of consistency, a job that was once thought of as Phillips's main role for Pep Guardiola's side. Despite the trials and tribulations, former Leeds star Pablo Hernandez has come out and backed Phillips to rediscover the form that thrust him into stardom at Elland Road, and even potentially fight for his spot in the Manchester City squad once again. Lastly, will Pep Guardiola unleash an inform youngster against Wolves? Well the citizens take on Wolverhampton Wanderers this weekend at Molyneux. The champions will be aiming to maintain their unbeaten start to the new season, with a win over Gary O'Neill's side. Pep Guardiola will be hoping his team is at their best at a venue they were beaten at last season. With that in mind could the city manager unleash an inform youngster at Molyneux on Sunday? Over the international break, James McAtee starred for England's under-21s. He scored three goals in two games as he showed that he is ready to take the next step in his career. On top of his goals, McAtee's performances showed every strong attribute in his game. He returns to Manchester City in top form and looks ready to be a bigger contributor for the champions going forward. But will Pep Guardiola unleash McAtee from the start on Sunday? That is a different question entirely. There is no doubt that McAtee is in fine form and his performances over the international break highlight this. But playing in under-21 internationals is not the same level as a Premier League fixture. Despite Wolves sitting last in the Premier League table, they can be dangerous on their day. That may be a factor in Pep Guardiola's decision to start Makati or not, but we'll just have to see what the manager has in store. That's all for now but please feel free to share your thoughts. We'll then see you next time.